Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of Illusion of Gaia. So we have just escaped from Edward's castle, and we are now on our way to Itori Village, Lily's Village, so that we can uh, meet up with Grandma and Grandpa. Oh wow, they cleaned this place up really quick. Um, um, sure, we'll be nice for now. Demands it. Yes, the, the songs are only useful when the plot demands them to be. Otherwise, they just take up inventory space. It's funny that only Will's uh, hair is animated in the wind. And there's the, the one red jewel in Itori Village. Alright, so... Um... Okay, well, those are things. Oh look, there's some dark space. And we get a power upgrade for Will. Okay, so you have to charge the attack button until you begin glowing, and then release it, or run at whatever you're trying to destroy, and release it. Whee! Hmm. Yes. Uh, sure. Okay, uh, which means we probably needed the Psycho Dash to get into this area. Hmm. 
Okay, maybe we need the melody. I was wrong about the Psycho Dash. You have to um, charge until you blink f uh, fast, and then you can use it. Hey, that means there's more than one. That's awesome. So now that we have sufficiently gathered all of the plot-relevant items... Nah, not yet. We still need to talk to Grandma and Grandpa. Okay, so there are no red jewels hidden in this area. Hmm. Captain Candy's relative. It looked like the ghost from Soul Blazer. Hmm. Oh, well. Looks like we can get the second one already. Pleasant. Sure, let's go to the Incan ruins.
Okay, there is one red gem here in the Incan Ruins. It's, uh, but it's in a chest that's fairly easy to find. Oh, and of course, Kara's tagging along. Psycho Dash is actually, can, can actually damage enemies, but let's... Oh, wow, it actually can. It does quite a bit of damage. Alright, so let's just keep a Psycho Dash charge at all times, so that way we can, you know... Save ourselves a little bit of time in dealing with these guys. Okay, let's see. Alright, just that last mud man and trap thing. Ooh, defense up. That's always useful. And we have an extra life. Good. It's a little long charge to Psycho Dash. Ow. Alright, can we get a freedom activation in here somewhere, please? Completely invulnerable during the Psycho Dash 2. That is very useful to know. And they help. That works. Shape hole. Hmm, I wonder. Good. Hmm. 
There we go. Time saving. And looks like there's a transformation point right up there, so that'll be useful. And we can't appear to reach it yet. That's unfortunate. Bastards, get over here. Mm. Uh, I don't think they'll they actually want to get over on this area, so let's go ahead and see if we can find another entrance. Here just leads back to the exit. Aha! The gems that the enemies drop do still uh, disappear like they do in Soul Blazer, but I believe they take longer to disappear. Oh, come here. Hmm, I can't actually hit that guy just yet. Unfortunately, enemies that you destroy stay dead. Uh, unless you are unless you're in an area with re the respawning enemies, so you don't have to worry about actually having to re-kill enemies that you've already killed. screwed this up. Well, let's see if we can respawn those enemies. Yeah, there's no... Since there is no um, item to obtain in this area, the uh, enemies will respawn. So you have to use Will's telekinesis to put these guys on the tiles without actually, you know, activating them. Which 
means you can't get too close to them. You also have to be careful that you have you are properly aligned, otherwise you will grab more than one. I need to get the fourth one into position. Whoa! That looked like it could be painful. Oh, of course the enemies are immune to it. Of course. Switch over to Frieden, because I don't think we need uh, Will's flute at any time in the near future. And being able to smack for a little more damage seems pretty useful. Looks like we are going to need Will after all, because we need his ability to play music. So, back to Will! Such a tease game. figure out where we're supposed to play this melody. Maybe in here? No. Oh, actually, I think we do need Frieden so we can break that one guy for that one statue. Yay, puzzles! And that's what happens if you let the platform actually land on. Give you a 
transformation without letting you use it for some period of time, so... We get to run and jump, we Let's see. There's still three enemies left in this area, so let's go take them out. Oh, yay, health up. That is always appreciated. That is everything for this area, so... On to the next floor we go. Uh, let's see, okay. So we do need to actually kill everything in this area. Time. Wee. And we've almost got an extra life. Cool. You can actually get a maximum of nine lives. continue exploring and killing everything, because that's what we like to do. Ow. 
and preferably not dying in the process, because dying sucks. There we go. left in the room. No idea where they are, actually. Maybe they're up here? No? Hmm. Chant in the golden room. Oh, and there's the red jewel for gem. Let's go ahead and send that off to him. Alright, we'll probably have to switch back to Will now, so let's go ahead and save. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. Uh, when I get back in a few minutes, we will continue on the Incan Ruins with Will. So, see you guys in a little bit.